You seem to mention contrast ratio a lot, let's see if you understand why it's not always a deal breaker. The higher the number, the better the projector, or television. Everyone knows that. Wrong. That is what they want you to think. How can 50,000 to 1, or a million to 1, not be better than a projector that only has, say, 10,000 to 1 contrast? It depends on a few things. I know. Like, where, you're going to use the projector, if the room is well lit, brightness, in lumens, is far more important than contrast. Boring, get to the point. Okay. Stay with me on this. All the contrast in the world is useless. If you can't see projective images, when light in the room washes it out. That's why data projectors are generally brighter than home theater. Some makers of data projectors quote our reviews and say things like, with more than a candle's worth of light, contrast over 500 to 1 is wasted. You said contrast ratio being important. Depends on a few things. What are the others? CR means contrast ratio, right? Yes, and the more contrast the better in a dark home theater room. Not so important at the races, where brightness is king. If your purchasing is based on the CR number on the box, it can be misleading. There are many ways to measure con. Con 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 contrast. Do, 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 go. Ah, it's fun watching you overheat your voice circuits. Sometimes, high contrast figures are more about marketing than an indication of performance in actual conditions. In the example on the screen, you can see that 50,000 to 1 was only 4,000 to 2 1 native contrast. Like this, native. Native is what the light engine can do, whereas 50,000 was when the output was measured, full on, then off, or white screen, then black screen. Will you watch the black and white show in real life? No, real images have black, white and colors at the same time. Can you believe there are people that still want to watch part 2 of contrast ratio?